I'm back again with another what I ate today. I know that you guys love what I ate today and have been wanting more. So I am making one again. And this one, I didn't do it like a very vloggy style. I'm kind of just going to talk over what I ate and go through it like that. And um, so this was on Saturday. Today is Monday. And I had kind of a really weird day Saturday because um, I got up kind of late. And I went to go work out kind of late and then um, I went for a swim and the swim took longer than I was expecting and so I didn't eat lunch till late and then I had work and then I had to like snack but then I had to eat dinner at like 4 30 before I went to work at 5 because I was working the closing shift and I didn't think I would get a break and I don't and I didn't want to eat at 9 and then I ate when I got home but I was so tired so I forgot to film some parts but then I like refilmed them. It was just weird but anywho I still got in everything I ate so don't worry. So the first thing I had when I woke up was some coffee and I am using just some normal like dark blend coffee but the new thing that I've been doing lately, I saw this on Pinterest and I am in love with it now, is you take some coffee, just any type of coffee, decaf, caffeinated, it really doesn't matter, it can be your favorite brand of coffee, brew it and then you add it into a blender as well as you add in some coconut oil. Yes, I know it sounds weird, but just like a little, like half teaspoon, teaspoon coconut oil. You add in some stevia and some milk of your choice, so almond milk, cashew milk, and then you blend it all up for about 20 seconds. And then when you're done, it turns into this frothy, delicious, just like, it's so good. And I recommend it so much. It is amazing. It's just, ugh, so good. It makes me just, um, it's delicious. You guys have to try it. It's just like a latte, but it's like really healthy for you and it's amazing. Okay, and then for breakfast, I had a smoothie. So I just did a frozen banana, tart cherries, um, spinach, some Vega protein powder, and some almond milk. Really basic smoothie. Blended that up and then I added that into my mason jar. And then once I was done with that, I added in my Go Macro bar because I haven't been eating them as often. So now that when I do eat them, it is like a little treat because they are so good. And I haven't really been eating them as much. So. Those were amazing, that was a good breakfast. And then I went to go swim, and then when I came home, it was time for me to make my lunch. And I made some pizza for lunch, so what I did was I did um, this recipe for pizza dough is from the Conscien Conscientious Eater, I think that's her blog name. I'll put the link in the description. But anywho, the recipe for the dough was just one and a third cups of flour, I think I used spelt flour, um, two tablespoons of applesauce, around a fourth and a, a fourth a cup to a third a cup of water or milk and then um, a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt and you just mix that all together you let it sit for 10 minutes and then you roll it out and it turns into this very delicious amazing like awesome pizza dough and then once your dough is done you can add on your sauce your toppings so I just added on some vegetables that I had in the fridge just um, spinach tomatoes bell peppers and um, I think that was it. And oh, and some vegan cheese. Um, some vegan Daya mozzarella cheese. Bake that all up for like 20 minutes or so until it's done. And oh my goodness, there you go. Homemade vegan pizza completely from scratch. Way better than the dose that you'll buy at the store. It tastes fresh, it tastes hand rolled, it's so good. And I also, while I was eating my pizza, I snacked on some grapes. Cause like I said, I ate lunch really late and I was starving. So I just ate like half a bowl of grapes, but that's okay. And then I didn't really eat a snack. I might have eaten some more fruit, but um, I didn't eat a snack because I had to eat dinner at 4.30, which is crazy. And so um, for dinner, I had a, um, I made some sweet potato fries. So I chopped up the sweet potatoes, sprayed them with coconut oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, which is my favorite way to make sweet potato fries. Stick them in the oven at 425 for about 30, 20 to 30 minutes until they're soft. And oh my goodness, just like fries, so yummy. I also roasted some Brussels sprouts. So I just did some Brussels sprouts with some olive oil and some salt and pepper and some, um, put those in the oven along with the sweet potatoes so they could cook at the same time. Then once the Brussels sprouts were done, which they'll be done before the sweet potatoes, um, I just straight drizzled on some balsamic glaze from Trader Joe's. Delicious. And then, um, for my protein, I fried up this, or not fried, I like pan seared this, um, vegan Boca burger, which is so yummy. Um, I don't know, I feel like most people wouldn't like them, but I really like them just because they're good. And so, I mean, they have a lot of protein, so that's kind of important, especially since I had to work out that day. So, that was what I ate before 
work and I really was not that hungry, which was kind of weird for me because I'm usually like super hungry before I work, but you know, what can you do? So I just packed that up, I ate that, and then this is the part I forgot to film, but before work, I always take with me when I close, I take with me a, like a little um, Yeti cup of vegan hot chocolate because it's cold where I work because I work at a gym. So it's always freezing in there. And so I, um, to make the vegan hot chocolate, you just heat up cashew milk or almond milk for 85 seconds in the microwave. And then you add in some dark chocolate, cacao powder, cocoa powder, which everyone is fine, and a little bit of stevia. And that's all you need. And then you just mix it all together. And I poured it in my Yeti cup and I was out the door because I was running super late. And that is so delicious. And so halfway through my shift about or whenever I want, I just drink that and it kind of, you know, just like resets me because some days at work can be pretty tiring. And then when I got home from work, I was so tired and I forgot to film this at first, but then I remembered halfway through eating my bowl and that was my bowl of cereal straight when I got home. I did stick my hands in the box and eat some puffins. But anywho, my main bowl of cereal, <laughs> so sad that I have to have a main bowl, was Cheerios and Life and some almond milk or cashew milk, can't remember because I'm filming this without looking back at that footage. Ah! And um, I just that before I went to bed. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video and yeah, bye.